Okay, folks, here we are. Going to try something that I picked up today at Harbor Freight. Um, been reading a lot of uh, cool stuff about it on the internet, and I wanted to see it for myself. Picked up this uh, PW80 for my kid for Christmas time, and of course, it's been sitting for a while. And the dreaded uh, ethanol has gummed up the carb. There's a lot of crud in the tank yet still from sitting. So the couple of times that I pulled it apart and cleaned it out was uh, a waste of time only because uh, as soon as I turned the gas on, um, I noticed that there was just crud coming through the fuel line. So needless to say, uh, this has to get cleaned again. I ordered up a carb kit for it. And at the same time, I'm going to have to drain the gas tank and uh, clean that out. So needless to say, uh, this leads us to where we are currently. Uh, the carburetor has been completely disassembled. Um, all the jetting is out. Uh, the only thing that's in there yet is the sleeve. And there's a little rubber o-ring in there, but I don't think that's going to matter. Uh, but, so that brings us to this. I picked this up today at Harbor Freight. It is their ultrasonic cleaner. So, <clears throat> I've been wanting one of these for a while to try on carburetors. So, all I did was plug this thing in about half an hour ago, and I'm using Simple Green D, which is aluminum safe. Uh, it turns out that regular Simple Green is uh, will actually etch aluminum. So, for all those out there that have been using aluminum, or uh, regular simple green on aluminum parts and wondering why it's turning it black that's the reason because it etches aluminum so needless to say I'm gonna throw this little cookie tray in so it doesn't gouge up the bottom of this thing and I'm going to put the parts in bowl I'll put the base in make sure that's fully submerged uh, let's see, what am I not going to be, pretty much that, and I think the jets, so I didn't separate the jets, just give me one second, I'm going to pause the video here, i got to separate the, the main jet from the emulsion tube, and we're back, and I separated the main jet from the emulsion tube, as you can see here, I don't know if that's going to focus, but there you go. Drop those in, dropped it right into the fucking bowl. So, now that is pretty warm already, uh, only because it has a heat setting on it. I'm assuming, didn't read the directions, but that light means that it's heating. Now, uh, I'm going to assume that once it's ready to go, that light might go out or this goes on. But we're not going to wait for that. You know what? I'm going to toss this float in. Uh, if anything, it will let me know if it's bad, if it fills up. Which, I don't see any bubbles. So, whatever. But anyways, um, I'm going to turn this thing on and we're going to see what happens here. I don't need that. I'll throw this thing in. Even though I probably get a new one with the carb kit. Jets I get. It's the pilot jet, I'll throw that in. I know I might get a new one of those, I'm not hundred percent sure. You know, I'll just throw this in there too. Hoping I get a new one of those, but I'll throw that in anyway. Get a new needle valve, I know that. Mm, I'll just throw these in for the hell of it. I guess it really won't hurt to throw it in. Uh, springs I get new, gaskets, screws, that. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, on, off, temperature control, set. Uh, that's 90, which I'm assuming is 90 minutes. I'll turn that to 180, and we're gonna turn this bad boy on. Oh, 
there's already crud just pouring off that thing. So, that's pretty cool. I'll let this thing go. Alright guys, this just shut down after a few cycles running it through. Um, you could see that the unit itself does have some heat into it because there's condensation on the lid. And, uh, well, it is pretty steamy. So the heat action works really well. Um, I'm trying to think if I have... Let me see if I got something over here we could... Do some testing Z's purpose. No, nothing in here. Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We got the gun. Now this is just surface temp, but it'll give us a... So... About 130, 140, all over the place, depending on where I blast it. So that's not too bad, honestly. I mean, it doesn't really need to be that any hotter than that, to be honest with you. So what we'll do is <clears throat> I'll pull these parts out. Wow, look at that. That's really clean. That looks great. I'm super happy with that. It's a float. You can see I was bobbing up and down. The clean side is obviously the shiny side. At least we know that it floats, so it's not it's nothing rattling around on the inside of that. So that's a good sign. Um, now I have to actually put the camera down here a second to lift this tray out. So give me a second. Okay, <clears throat> so there we go, there's the bowl and the rest of the pieces. That's super clean too, very happy with that. Wow, this thing did a pretty good job for what it is. Those are all the pieces. Should probably put this somewhere so when it falls all over the floor I don't lose anything. So I'm going to turn this off. Okay, I guess you just unplug it. Put the lid back on. Yeah, that's that's worth it in my opinion. Cool. So there we have it. There's our uh, Harbor Freight. Ultrasonic cleaner with the simple green solution in it Turned out really nice to be honest with you. I just got to wait for the uh, Carb kit to come back or to come in and we'll see how it turns out